Hi, this is Mark Prendel from MarkPrendel.com. You know, there's nothing better in this world than an album of somebody trying to sound like somebody else. Pickwick Records was really the, the kings of this. For example, they had the Billy Joel songbook. Uh, and if you look really close at the bottom here, it says, as performed by the 52nd Sound. So it's not really Billy Joel at all. Or we have Sounds Like the Eagles, Sounds Like the Bee Gees by the Neon Knights, and the best, Music from the Motion Picture, Saturday Night Fever, and then really close, not the original soundtrack. Because Pickwick are geniuses. But sometimes you gotta be careful. If you go outside the, uh, the trustworthy Pickwick brand, you run across sometimes some real garbage, and that's what I'm presenting you today. The Surfsiders sing the Beach Boys songbook on design records. And you can tell by the, the, the back cover, which is a generic back cover that they use, I guess, on all their albums probably, that it's probably not going to be very good. And you'd be right. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. The Surfsiders, they sound like they don't, they don't know the songs, they don't particularly like the Beach Boys, and more than anything, they sound like a 50s doo-wop, like a third-rate 50s doo-wop band that was told to do a Beach Boys album. So you get performances like this. They didn't even learn the song correctly. Pretty bad. But not as bad as this. She's my little do scoop. You don't know what I got. See, they've buried the lead vocal under the background vocal. Ryan Wilson is rolling in his grave. He'll find my 409. She's real find my 409. My 409. Yes, I know Brian Wilson is alive. Fuck you. Again, they buried the lead vocal under the background. Because they don't give a shit. They're monsters. Go! They don't, they don't care about my glove. Not like I care about my glove. Listen to this, a Yola Tango cover they threw on. Right. There's more inside too, and that's what you really want to hear. You want to hear When I Grow Up To Be A Man to show how, how they respectfully treat a Brian Wilson ballad. Hear that? Surfsiders. True surf music. Hear that? That's Dick Dale. The Ventures. That's good stuff. Well, surfing kind of sucked to begin with. So. Okay, uh, this is the last one I'm going to play for you because this one is astonishingly bad and I thought you might enjoy it. Um, this goes out to you, Al Jardine. Because we're having fun, fun, fun listening to the Surfsiders sing the Beach Boy songbook. Hear that? Listen to that lead guitar. He's whipping it out. Popular favorites. The 
Listen to, listen to those harmony vocals. Oh, Bruce Johnston. I just want to say Bruce Johnston. Oh, yeah. Oh, the organ. Oh! See, so this really gives you an inkling of how much better the Beach Boys would have been if none of them could sing and they had a saxophone. I think the main problem was that Murray Wilson wasn't there telling them to like take it smooth and the dip a dip a do and da -ba -ba. So anyway, if you're at, ever at the store and you see a 15 cent copy of the Surfsiders Sing the Beach Boys songbook, uh, 